Coming up in this edition of Rock 11 Now Weekly, the mayor and council adopt a new budget for fiscal year 2020. So what does this mean for your property tax? We'll tell you. Plus, the Maryland Women's Business Center is helping women entrepreneurs with a pop-up shop. We'll tell you where to find it. And it was a taste of Taiwan in Rockville. We'll take you to this year's Bubble Tea Festival. More news, more often, right now. This is Rock 11 Now Weekly, so let's get into it. And Mayor, I move that we adopt the ordinance to appropriate funds and levy taxes for fiscal year 2020. Okay, I'll second. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor, please raise your hand. Budget is adopted. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much to each of you who worked on it. The mayor and council approve a $138.9 million operating budget for fiscal year 2020. And with that, there will be no change to property tax rates. Property tax rates have stayed the same for just over a decade. The budget will fund city operations from July 1st of 2019 through June 30 of 2020. To learn more about the city's FY20 budget, head to rockvillemd.gov slash budget. Rockville will make history this November by being the first city in Maryland to vote by mail. Voters will be casting their ballots to elect a mayor and four council members. You can be a part of the change by not only voting, but you can also run for one of those five governing seats. To be eligible, you must be 18 years of age and be a registered voter that has lived within the Rockville city limits since November 5th of 2018. You must also be nominated using a petition with signatures of at least 100 registered voters who live within Rockville city limits. That petition must be filed to the Board of Supervisors of Elections by Thursday, September 5th. A packet that includes everything you need to know about how to become a candidate that has all the materials, forms, and critical information, as well as election deadlines, can be downloaded at rockvillemd.gov election. Or you can pick it up from the City Clerk Director of Council Operations Office here at City Hall. Candidates, treasurers, and other interested parties are encouraged to attend the new online campaign finance report training conducted by the Board of Supervisors of Elections in June and September at City Hall. Becoming a candidate can help you do your civic duty and make a change in Rockville. For all this information and more about this year's vote by mail election, head to rockvillemd.gov slash election or call the city clerk, director of council operations office at 240-314-8286. Four female entrepreneurs are getting the chance to grow their businesses at Rockville Town Square. A retail pop-up shop is open on Maryland Avenue for a limited time, offering handcrafted dog treats, chocolate truffles, people most like passion fruit, body lotions, and cashmere scarves. You can see how soft that is. The shop was created through a partnership between Federal Realty, Rockville Economic Development Incorporated, and the Maryland Women's Business Center. This opportunity allows four of our clients to cooperatively share retail space, learn from each other, while getting visibility and building a loyal client base. I have enjoyed working with the fellow women that I got to know because of this pop-up. We work well together, we share our experiences together, and actually uh, think about, uh, about future cooperation, which I think this is all about. The Maryland Women's Business Center specializes in offering opportunities to help start and expand women-owned enterprises. As I am new in the country, I wanted to know everything, all the regulations, and they have motivated me a lot. They are doing a very good job for women like us. Learn more about the Maryland Women's Business Center at marylandwbc.org. For Rock 11 Now Weekly, I'm Craig Buchanan. Some Rockville seniors got to go behind the badge and learn what it takes to be an officer as part of the Rockville City Police Department Senior Citizen Academy. The Academy is part of the department's commitment to the community. Seniors got a chance to learn about code enforcement, forensic science, and got tips on how to stay safe. They even got a chance to see a canine demonstration. 
We learn how to be safe not only in our homes but out in public. And we also learn just how to interact with police officers. I will tell anyone they're great, they're approachable, they really do believe in community policing. I like to think that they are at the forefront of that, so I just wholeheartedly endorse the police department in the Barfield. This latest group of graduates received a certificate for completing the course. For more information about Rockville City Police Department and its community policing mission, head to rockvillemd.gov slash police. Still to come on Rock 11 Now Weekly, Rockville Sister Cities Corporation is exploring a new sister city relationship. We'll tell you all about it right after this. Join us for the unveiling of the Sugarloaf Mountain Mural 2019 Forever Stamp. The mural is in the Rockville City Police Department headquarters and is part of the 2019 U.S. Postal Service's Forever Stamp Series. Representatives from the U.S. Post Office, the Mayor and Council, and Peerless Rockville will be on hand. So join us on Thursday, May 23rd at 11 a.m. in the lobby of the Rockville City Police Department on Montgomery Avenue. There will also be a reception and an opportunity to buy the stamp immediately following the unveiling at the Red Brick Courthouse on Courthouse Square. Hope to see you there. Hello, I'm Major England of the Rockville City Police Department. The Rockville City Police Department wants to prevent you from becoming a victim of a theft. When buying or selling items online, here are a few important tips to keep you safe when completing your transactions in person. Trust your instincts. If a deal sounds too good to be true, it more than likely is. Stay in communication. Let your spouse, friends, family, or coworkers know where you're going, who you are meeting, and when you will be back. Be on guard and be smart. Don't wear expensive or flashy clothing. Doing so can invite criminal activity. Remember, if you need to report suspicious activity, please call the Rockville City Police Department at 240-314-8900. As part of Taiwan Culture Week, the Rockville Sister Cities Corporation played host to a delegation from Yilan, Taiwan. As a sign of friendship, the delegation presented a ceremonial gong to the city and the mayor and council. <laughs> Rockville Sister Cities Corporation is currently exploring an official sister city relationship with Yilan, Taiwan. To complete the pilot cultural exchange between the two cities, the delegation brought their Taiwan Opera Troupe along to perform at this year's Taiwan Bubble Tea Festival. Let's check out some of the festivities. That's going to do it for this edition of Rock 11 Now Weekly. Remember, you can check out our latest happenings on our online newsletter at rockvillereports.com. And join in on the conversation and check out our posts by signing up for Nextdoor at nextdoor.com. And keep up with Rockville 11 by subscribing to our City of Rockville YouTube channel. And you can follow us on Twitter at Rockville 11, on Instagram at city underscore of underscore Rockville, and like us on Facebook. For the entire Rockville 11 team, I'm Kathy Dantzler. Until next week, Rockville.